TII Technical Education Systems, Teaching Technology for Tomorrow. Okay, in this video what we want to do is we want to start to explore some of the timer, one of the timer functions that's available to us in the TIA portal V114. In this one what we're going to explore is the timer on delay. Okay, so to do this what we're going to do is we're going to grab an input, slap it here, and I'm going to tag this to a latching normally open button on the TII Technical Education's PLC HMI trainer for Siemens products. So what I'm going to do here is just type in right green latching push button. All right, now we have tagged that right green latching push button to input slot zero, terminal four. Now what we're going to do is we are going to grab a timer on delay instruction. To do this, we go to the instructions over here on the right hand side, expand them out, go to the timer operations, expand this, and we're going to grab the TON here, and this is actually going to be in a block format. And we're going to give this some general name, timer1 is a really common one to do. And so what we want to do now, is that we have our timer, is we want to set how long this timer is going to run for. In the manual, chapter 15, it'll walk you all through how the um, timer functions works with setting it up. I'm just going to give you a quick overview here. So we want this preset timer to be for six seconds. And now, whatever value you type into PT, which is your preset time, that is multiplied by one millisecond. So if you want a six second on delay, you type in 6,000 and you hit enter, and you'll see here that it actually says six seconds, okay? And then your ET is going to be the amount of time that is actually accumulated. If you're coming from the Allen Bradley world, this is your accumulated value, okay? So what we want to do is we're going to type in a tag here, um, timer ACC, okay? We'll say timer one ACC. All right, that's uh, timer one's accumulated value. Hit enter, and then you're going to define this. So left click, define tag, and notice that the data type is time, okay? And this is really important, So we, because this will allow it to actually act like a timer. So we're going to select, keep it at time, leave the address as is, and select define. Now, you'll notice right here, this has been created. We have our timer one, and then the accumulated set for that, and we have set it for six seconds, okay? So now what we can do is if we want to tie an output directly to this, we can drag an output down to here and drop it, or we can leave the timer as our output and then control things from there. In this case, we're going to make a very simple program. We're going to tie this to the left yellow push button, left yellow light, hit enter, and this thing is ready to download. That's how easy it is to create a timer on delay. Okay, so what this will do is this will delay this output turning on six seconds once the push button has been activated and left activated. So let's go ahead and download this. Now I come over and I activate my latching push button. And you can see here that my timer has started and it's running down to the millisecond. And after six seconds, my yellow light is activated. To turn it off, I unlatch my green push button and the light comes off. Now let's explore a little bit about how this timer works. So you hit the green button here, it starts timing. Now if the logical continuity is cut off to the input of the timer before it reaches that six seconds, the yellow light will never turn on. So you activate it, you wait six seconds, and then the yellow light activates, okay? 
And this is how you begin to program with a timer on delay instruction in the TII portal V114. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take this offline.